banna tera naam batana we always discussed creating a soundscape akum na marunga divana i wanted a shami kapoor type feeling song bandara bana bana khonda ke maanav gira bana khunkar hai what is your reaction are you feeling happy sad i melancholic what is, what is the feeling right How am I going to tell Mr. A R Rahman that I don't like it? Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years. Rahman Music Sheets. Hi friends, how about finding a top take? A wow factor in this episode. Do watch it till the end to grab this harmonic moment of the day. Dhaka University 25th March 1971 Pakistan army launched a deadly assault on the students and teachers here This is where Peppa begins The Dhaka University massacre remains one of the bloodiest university attacks in human history. Pippa is a 2023 biographical war film based on the life of Brigadier Balram Singh Mehta, who fought for the liberation of Bangladesh. The film has 5 songs, each adding a layer to the story. One song recreates the histrionics of 70s in Hindi cinema depicting the fun factor of the Indian army. With Parwana I had said I wanted a Shami Kapoor type feeling song which is set in 70s because let's say that if they are in an army and they they're going to sing a song it's probably going to be kind of from the popular you know milieu at that point in time and you know that's the feel of the song we want but i want a modern take I, it should be relatable to today's youth we said let's use this how do we use this one kind of like explosion you know where we can dance and 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 and, and show what army life can be and at the same time set up very early in the film that we are in the 70s He actually wrote a screenplay with that song. Main parwana tera naam batana. Raja for a song like Parwana, Arijit Singh seems to be an unusual choice. Was it your call or Mr. Rahman's? No, it was all AR. It was all AR. I mean, uh, you know, yeah. So we 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 went through a few names. Um I thought I mean, you know, uh one of my one of my very very dear friends uh who unfortunately passed away. I felt the song was kind of correct for KK actually at that point in time. and um you know um and ar said okay let's see uh, it seems a bit predictable though yeah we we'll go that there and he then he, at some point he calls me suddenly out of the blue and says uh, you know i was thinking we should uh, ask arijit if he'll sing this song and uh, i was like this doesn't seem like an arijit song at all and he said that's exactly why we should get arijit to sing it you nazar uthana you nazar ke ranna tu shamma So uh, I think I think when Arijit heard the uh, the song uh, he himself was quite surprised uh, that he's been asked to sing this song and he took on the challenge and I think uh, I mean now in you know hindsight what a wonderful choice You know in his songs chorus or backing vocals are not merely fillers they are integral part of the song and that's the case with Parwana song too what was your experience i mean uh, it's wonderful actually to see him build a song because he builds it layer by layer by layer and so i've been on that journey when it was first just a simple song with some lyrics and some vocals and some some basic instrumentation and then he starts adding and adding and adding to this and start starts creating these these wonderful cross uh kind of pollinations through of of sound and 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 uh, he brings in these chorus pieces la, 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 la. I wish I could get into his head and understand what exa- exactly or why is he 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 does those things but you know that's the genius of the man but he's constantly trying to improve it There are three girls singing the leads 
you know and they meld into each other so beautifully how they move from one one voice to the other seamlessly it's it's just just incredible you know he's always trying to to up this this kind of uh, the complexity of the of the song and making it simple through that process makes it even you know so it's it's a very beautiful process that that he goes through nothing that is standard uh or if he feels a standard will enter into that creative process you know he constantly says raja if it's been done we are not doing it again <laughs> you know his constant urge to improve is something that filmmakers really dread because many times they have to shoot the song with a basic track which can be very challenging uh, did you experience something like that yeah i never had that problem actually i never had that problem so um uh, in fact i got my songs well and truly in time and 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 uh, but but i we were very clear the song this was the only song that was a lip sync song um and there were a lot of very key points so when we discussed it i told her this is the song i need in its almost final form because if there's a trumpet then i want to use a trumpet i don't want us to be using a saxophone i think when you start changing things the emotionality of the dancing changes so so uh we discussed it and 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 and, and ar agreed and i said listen you know give me the song that is emotionally not going to change you may add one more layer you could add something maybe make it better take away something that's fine but emotionally i want the song to be in exactly the same place that i shoot it in because the exp- it's a it, for me the song is an expression not only of physical movement it's also what's on his face it's also how he's interacting with the girl because it's setting up his character for me largely <laughs> goes to AR Rahman When Rahman received Oscar, Grammy, Golden Globe and BAFTA for Slumdog Millionaire, the world started celebrating his amazingly apt mesmerizing background scores. All along his career, be it Kadalan, Bombay or Eruvel. Dil se alay paaye de aur lagaan. Swadesh, Rang de Basanti aur Ravanan. Rockstar 99 songs aur Punian Selvan. Rahman's background score has elevated each of the narratives and took them to greater heights. Pippa is no exception. Kuch hi ghanton pehle Pakistan ne Bharti airfields par hawai hamla kiya hai. Raja songs are recorded before they are shot, but background score is done after the film is edited. Please tell me how did you and Mr. Rahman go about it? So we uh, the first time once I had my uh, uh, offline edit ready um this was when um, um AR was in at 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 Khan and so I happened to be there at the same time and so we actually watched the film together for the first time in Khan we uh, we, we sat down and watched it in his in 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 his bungalow where he was staying and as we were watching it I noticed that he was doing these voice notes and he likes to watch a film without uh, reference music on it because he 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 thinks it 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 impacts so uh, you know without music when you watch an offline edit it it starts dragging it feels slow and you know i'm also feeling a bit worried i'm wondering whether he's getting inspired and at the end of it we just started talking and he said you know i'm seeing you know guitar i'm seeing this i'm thinking what are you listening to what do you think you're listening to and that's where it started and from there onwards we would we would keep sending each other um uh notes i would basically talk about the emotionality of 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 the music that i'm seeing you know in terms of do i want it to be rousing pure itihas mein kabhi koi bhi jang किसी और देश को आजादी दिलवाने के लिए नहीं लड़ी गई है यू नो हाउ हाइट एंड डू आई वांट इट हाउ डू आई वांट इट व्हाट इज द इमोशन व्हाट डू आई वांट पीपल टू फील एट दिस पॉइंट हाउ डू आई वांट एन ऑडियंस टू रिएक्ट टू दिस पीस ऑफ सिनेमा एंड एंड वंस वी आर इन एग्रीमेंट विद दैट अम अम देन देन वी अराइव एट दैट बट मच बिफोर ऑल दिस अम एआरस प्रोसेस वाज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वी क्रिएटेड अ पैलेट एक्चुअली फर्स्ट 
So we first just would listen to sounds. I would share sounds with him. He would share sounds with me, and we'd say, "Okay, you know, we like we like this sound. We like this thing. We like this instrument. We like this feel." And so we created this entire palette of 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 instruments from where we were going. So once we got the feel of a particular scene, he picked from that palette. You know, so we already knew it's going to be this world. It's going to be Western scoring, but with this Indian kind of thing. And we'll try and bring in some amount of maybe you know the Bangla feeling. Uh, when when we are there, um, especially with the Mukti Bahini and and the Ram track. I am all so put kori te chije. Mukti Bahini rak jon choy ni kisabe. Or how we treat the 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 CNA, um, you know, the erstwhile raw and 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 the decoding. Yeah, I am Pakistan internal communications ko intercept karke decode karte hai. He scores actually. He does these long 20 minute pieces. you know even for a song and he says okay tell me what you like in this i would use words and say please don't hold me to it like for instance if i said i would like to see hear strings here and i said don't hold me to strings i'm just saying the feeling that i feel when i hear strings or if i hear you know schubert or 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 if i hear you know um 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 pandit ravi shankar or am i hearing um tinari van or or i would i would throw 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 musicians at him or songs at him or sounds at him and saying you know maybe the accordion and and he and he would keep adding these things in and he would he would you know create this 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 kind of uh uh, uh on paper palette of okay these are the instruments this is what we're thinking these are the sounds this is where we want to go with it it was a fascinating process so you know and sometimes it, he would send me something and i would say well, i don't know where this would go or what will happen with this and he said no no just tell me when you react to this piece of music what is your reaction are you feeling happy sad are you melancholic what what is the feeling right so we would talk a lot about that lot about feeling lot about uh what that sound does to me because i'm not a musician and the beauty about um, ar is that you can keep on changing that feeling when you want i mean i can i could tell him something and then he come back and i say you know what as i was hearing it i felt maybe we needed to be a little more pacey we needed to be a little bit and he'd say okay let's go there let's try that or he'd say you know i think this is why i feel this is the way to go so it's very collaborative very collaborative no be we always discussed creating a soundscape i said i do not want moments highlighted that's not the film i'm making i want the swell you feel when you see a tank speeding in water with that gun up there i want to feel that emotion i'm not interested in knowing exactly on this beat the tank went up on this beat it fired that's not what we're doing so let us score the film and um you know he was he 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 I think in the beginning was a bit disbelieving that that that's what we would do uh but as we went along you know um um I think he 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 really you know I feel very special uh with the amount of attention and time and 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 detail that that he put into Pippa Thank you I'll take it to me Rampal it was it was it was He was so fully immersed in creating the emotions a true sound that he could for this and therefore you know getting involved in saying okay you know what tell me where the what what is what what is our, what the frequency of the blast that you're going to do so that i can then score around it so that we don't lose both there's going to be war there's going to be bullets there's going to be fighting there's going to be shouting this thing i don't want to lose it there's going to be a tank this tank is a really loud goddamn machine it makes you know it's like a diesel engine on on steroids So he said what what are the frequencies you're working with there so then you know you let let's work around it so that musically we still can uplift the film you know So that was very new for me this I have not done before with any 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 of my films I've never sat down and thought of it in the same so I think what AR did was he made the music he brought it into my scheme of understanding you know so he was not talking to me 
like a musician. He was talking to me like a person who is used to building these palettes with color and with uh, visual and with light. And he said, I will make music that for you. And you tell me from there and then it's my job to glean what that means. You know? And, and so I think that when I think back, at that point in time I didn't realize any of these things, but when I think back, he actually made it easy for me to be able to explain what I was thinking in the terms and the words that I use uh, normally and then he was able to kind of extrapolate from that what was required musically. And fire now! <laughs> Mr. Rahman also roped in Firdaus and Budapest Orchestra. What pieces did they perform? Yes, largely. They did a lot of the work on the, on the, on the background score. So a lot of the strings, all the strings, all the, the, the horn sections, um, uh, a lot of those were largely done there. Um, and then, um, but uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I mean, basically, he's, uh, AR scores all of it and then they, they actually just record exactly what he sent them. Yaad rakhna, hum bhi refugee hai. Another piece that was wonderful was, uh, I think, uh, Shivamani played on the, uh, um, just before the interval, there's a Mukti Bhaini action piece where Ram is, um, uh, has, a, has a gunfight with, uh, you know, um, and that was completely done by, uh, by Shiva. Uh, again, just, just, just um, wonderfully crafted and done. So that's the beauty of, I think, um, this, this soundtrack. It has elements from everywhere in the world. It has incredible um, uh, width the soundtrack. Now tell me, did you ever feel intimidated interacting with a musician of international stature? Only before I met him. <laughs> Only before I met him. I was. Before I met him, I was very worried about if I don't like something, how am I going to tell Mr. A.R. Rahman that I don't like it? If I liked it, it's great. You know, so the first interaction when he played me a piece, um, you know, and, and, and actually he was standing in front of me. Uh, I was in the studio and his studio is like a cockpit, right? You know, so there's music and, and he asked everybody else, including the producer, he said, all of you leave. This is between me and, 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 and the director. And so I sat down there and he played me this and he was standing in front of me, in front of the console. And I didn't hear the piece because I was just so intimidated with him standing there. And at the end of it, he said, what do you think? I said, I didn't hear anything because if you don't mind, just <laughs> move away so that I can listen to this because I'm just thinking, how do I say I don't like this, you know? So uh, we broke the ice, he laughed about it and then, uh, then, I, then, then we went from there. And, and uh, you know, uh, I think one of the things is that largely because he, he understands brief so much, there never was a piece that I thought was completely uh, outlandish or didn't work. But there were many, many things which, which um, uh, uh, where I had opinions and uh, um, oftentimes um, he would listen to the opinion and, and, and take something from it, uh, not all of it, but he would understand the essence of it and do something brilliant. And he's such a, uh, uh, you know, he's such a generous man, right? I mean, not only with me, even with his assistants, his arrangers, with everybody, he would give credit and he'd say, you know what? You know, I said, Raja, you know, thanks so much. Yeah, you know, when you talked about that thing, that's why this, this thing was working so well. Or he'd tell, you know, Hira Luz is arranger or, or my uh, associate director, Sanjay, and he says, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a brilliant idea. Because he really likes to work collaboratively, you know. Um, and, and so intimidation was really uh, in the legend. And once I met him, uh, I think that went away. <laughs> This song by Kazi Nuzrul Islam was first published in 1922. It added fire to patriotic fervor against the British rule. It became a call for freedom during the Bangladesh Liberation War. Rahman adapted it for Pippa, but he was accused of crushing the spirit of this song. Is there a merit in this accusation? Is it another battle by desktop warriors? With answers in our next episode, Raja Krishna Menon will be back. Stay with us. 
I felt the song was kind of correct for KK actually at that point in time. And um, you know, um, and AR said, okay, let's see. Uh, it seems a bit predictable though. Yeah, we'll go that there. And he's, then he, at some point he calls me suddenly out of the blue and says, uh, you know, I was thinking we should uh, ask Arijit if he'll sing this song. And uh, I was like, this doesn't seem like an Arijit song at all. And he said, that's exactly why we should get Arijit to sing it. Do you agree that this indeed was the moment of the day? Is your choice different? Whatever your mind says, write it in the comment section below. We will be waiting. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.